Hello, Legend of the Samurai here with the Capital Industries Magnetic Cam Lock. There's its product card. Uh, so this is a cam lock format, magnetic lock. It's actually very similar to the Capital uh, Magnetic Padlock that I looked at previously. Uh, its key is an odd shape. It interacts with a very shallow divot on the front, and it has two little hooks that keep the key from falling off unless the lock is in one of its locked states. Uh, and it is a very similar mechanism to the padlock, basically just miniaturized such that there's three rotors in the face of this. So it can be picked in a very similar fashion to the other, however tensioning is the issue. Uh, we'll be looking again with a little piece of magnetic, yeah, magnetic viewing film shows the rotors. So when tensioning seems difficult, look at the key and try to emulate it. So this is a little piece of brass that I've filed to be the shape of the key, and I've just brazed on a little bit of music wire as a handle, and it fits very snugly in the keyway. And then I'll be using a little rare earth magnet again. So the rotors scramble pretty freely, and you can apply tension, and then look for binders, and listen for that true gate. So there's the rattle, the true gate there. And then, uh, because it's a magnet, you don't actually have to be directly next to the rotor you're working on. You can go outside. And it doesn't always go that fast. Uh, to prove that this can be done dealing with all of the rotors, we'll do it again. So there's number one. Working on number two. And now this last one, I just have to drag over to the gate, and it's open. Uh, so again, you don't need to know the combination beforehand, uh, because the gates are pretty obvious. Uh, and here, show the pattern of that, and then as I relock it, the rotors re-scramble. Uh, so one thing I can do with the cam lock that I could not do with the padlock is I can take it apart and show the mechanism. So, take the cam off. And the limiter plate. Take it off the little mount. Now, to take this apart, you do need it either picked or you need to have a key uh, because you can see in there, there's two little side pins that interfa uh, interface with those grooves, and those grooves don't run the full length of the lock, so they actually need to be able to move in uh, as we pull this forwards. Uh, and it's sealed with an O-ring, which is why these are rather weatherproof. Yeah, so... Here's the shell. There's those grooves that aren't the full depth. Here's one of those side pins that just fell out. And there's two of those. And so how this works is when it's set properly uh, and you have a key in place, you can fully depress these side pins. So if we take a little Allen screw out, Kim. So we'll get to this in a moment. So if you can see down here, that's the bottom of the locking plunger, and if I squeeze in on these side pins, that extends downwards. And so these pins can only go in if that is allowed to extend downwards. What it's ah, so 
There's the plunger, it's spring biased. And then knock out those side pins. So what it's checking against is this set of rotors. Uh, and so these, if we just take a magnet, we can move them around. Or if we take a key, you can see that a properly placed key lines up the gates into the center, uh, and that allows the locking plunger uh, to project downwards. and they will re-scramble themselves afterwards. So then tap these out of here. So they just sit in a little shell and then each individual rotor has a hole drilled in it from one side and a small rare roof magnet press fit in. And then it's got a gate milled at a certain radial position. So this one, the gate is offset from that drilled hole. And all three of these do have the magnet still in place, like so. So, all in all, a fun little cam lock. Uh, it is pickable. It's decidedly more secure than the vast majority of cheap cam locks on the market, uh, but it is not unassailable, specifically if you have a way to tension it. So, thanks for watching, and have a nice day!